Bonjour, it's Tanisha and welcome to A Week in My Life as a Part-Time Artist. I bought this huge paper for one of the frames that I have so I just need to cut it down and we'll get started with priming it first. This frame has been sitting in my studio for a while now and I'm so excited to finally be doing a painting on it and I have decided to paint something from my sketchbook. Also just wanted to make sure I got the measurement correct so that it can fit perfectly into the frame and I'm basically making a new painting for this beautiful frame that I found. watched my previous video you'd know that I have recently learned that sometimes priming does help with painting so I'm making sure that this is one of my first steps just to make sure that I'm setting the surface correctly for the type of painting I'm about to do on it. So now that we've primed the surface it's finally time to add the colors. art store I got this palette wetting spray and I wanted to try it for my acrylic colors since they dry so fast and I want to be able to have time to play with the colors and have fun and not have to come back to a dry palette within like five minutes so let's see how that works When I was going around the thrift store, I remember seeing this frame and the painting was really beautiful but I was more drawn to the frame because it reminded me of this painting that was in my sketchbook and I kind of basically wanted to transfer it on a bigger size and help it find a new home which is my place.
and this sketchbook painting is one of my favorite one because you can really tell that I was really having fun and you can see the brush strokes in it and it's from this picture that I had found on Pinterest and basically this is gonna be a painting of a painting so you can't make it more me at this point <laughs> so yeah from my previous video I was trying to learn from master studies and now I'm trying to learn for myself in the past when I used to have fun and not care about how the end result look like. I don't know how to explain it but adding the clouds was both exciting and scary at the same time since when you do the sky it's easy you just kind of blend it but the clouds is something you'll see and you want the shape to look nice but again I kept reminding myself I do not want it to look perfect I'm here to have fun and look at my sketchbook just as a basic guideline and yeah just place the colors as I want and not have to stress too much about it. white refill. I know it looks like I was going back and forth while doing those clouds but I was having a lot of fun adding the different colors the pink and salmony color on it and yeah I was just basically zoning out and enjoying the painting process. And of course when it was time to paint the trees and the bush I had a lot more fun because if you know me you know that I love painting nature especially trees and bushes so yeah I was basically having a blast doing it just leaving those thick brushstroke the way I had did it in my sketchbook I really wanted to see that in a bigger size and it was so so much fun because I know this painting was gonna end up being for me and only me it was gonna be on my wall in my own home so there was no pressure there and that kind of liberated me from any fear that I had from how we should end up looking paint water but somehow painting the pond there was so much fun and because I wanted to leave it into like just big stroke and taking off the expectation to make it look realistic just really helped me enjoy the process and I really like how it turned out. <sighs> One thing that's been happening is I'm in the studio and I love it and I love when the sun comes in but it gets so hot. <laughs> I'm like dying, but I also want to look cute. So it's a struggle, but right now it's doable, but it is getting hot as the sun is going by. I've been trying to wake up early actually, just to like have the morning and paint. I feel like 
it's less blinding as the afternoon light. I also like sleeping in on the weekend soon. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I was still a bit nervous when I reached the bottom grass section because I remember when I was doing in the sketchbook, since it was on a smaller size, I was having a lot more fun just putting a bunch of brush stroke and calling it a day because it was smaller so I didn't have to do as many but I knew doing it on a bigger canvas paper it would take me a lot of time and I wanted to be able to show the different brush stroke for it but I know myself sometimes if there's too much I end up hating it so I did decided to take it slow start a little bit take a break in between and then come back so I'm probably not gonna show because I try to cut the video in piece so it flows naturally but I do end up putting the grass in a section and then I walk away I look at it from far and I come back I try to correct it that way but again I'm also not over correcting it just making sure like the brush stroke goes through and then stop right there I think at this point I was basically trying to hurry up to finish the rest of the painting so I could paint the willow which is the part of the painting that I really like and it's why I had chosen this picture to paint for my sketchbook but I remember when I was painting it during my sketchbooking session that took a lot of time and I was already pretty tired from standing and I knew that I needed to take a break so usually I tried finishing all my painting on the weekend I decided to just take some time off and then continue the painting during the week and that would mean that I would have to paint after work because I have a full-time job already in the tech industry and I come home after 6 p.m. and I have to have dinner so by the time I'm painting <laughs> It's dark, so I tried getting some videos of me painting, but I would like to apologize that you won't get to see the full process of me painting the willow. At least you won't get to see the color, but hopefully you find just seeing the brush strokes. And it took me basically three days, so I think I painted on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday when I came home. And yeah, I painted until I couldn't see the colors. I think on Thursday is when I had decided that this painting is done and let's wait for the weekend to put everything together. Just doing a quick checking 
it's the next weekend and I am still wearing the same outfit but as you've seen in the previous clip I really wanted to paint after work and that is my life usually it gets dark so I end up painting in the dark and yeah so I was able to finish it before the next weekend and I did want to add some more detail and kind of have some final shots of this painting but if you see my previous video I'm trying to keep it real and have more loose brushstrokes showing through so yeah I think it's safe to say this painting is done and it's time to frame it I really love how it turned out this is what I had envisioned in my head and I was able to make it a reality and that's what I love about art is you think about doing something and being able to put it physically on paper on something is just so fulfilling for me so yeah I hope that you enjoy this painting process how I was able to take this thrifted canvas and frame and turn into something on my own and and be able to put it in my own house but you will see it in my future videos because I do let my painting sit in my studio right now I'm trying to build an inventory of painting and then in a future video you will see when I will build my gallery wall here at home and yeah if you're interested for that let me know down below and make sure you click the notification bell button give this video a like if you liked it <laughs> and I will see you very soon Allez, bye